Today, we're making a lasagna. Tex-Mex style. <laughs> <laughs> layers and layers of all your favorite Tex-Mex flavors. Oh, man, your family will love every last bite. That is right, and so will we. <laughs> yeah. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My layers and layers of blue. <laughs> layers. 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 You're actually very cheesy. Yeah, cheesy, cheesy, So we're cheesy, doing cheesy. lasagna, and we're doing it Mexican style. This is a great weeknight meal you can make. Or Tex-Mex style, Mexican Tex-Mex. Right. Right, whatever, however you want to call it. This is more Tex-Mex. I think it's Tex-Mex. And so we're, I'm gonna, I've got a cup of onion right here that I am putting in a nice large skillet um, with a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. And we're going to cook this until it gets <laughs> nice. Look at all that That's stuff. That's a lot of cheese. It's a lot. <laughs> we're going to get to that in just a moment. Um, and anyway, we're going to cook this till it gets nice and soft, about four minutes. Okay, so now you see this is nice and soft. It's just starting to brown just a little bit. Now I've got two pounds of ground beef. Um, you know, go with whatever you like. If you like the, the lean, that's good. We're going to uh, drain off any excess grease anyway. We got a little Wagyu going on today. <laughs> I know. I'm, our store has ground Wagyu and it was on sale. It was on sale. You know, I mean, this is, this can be a very budget friendly dish um, because it's, you'll be eating it all yeah. week and it freezes beautifully. It's one of those that's just kind of picky people. Picky eaters love it. Yeah, and it's you can so good. you can adapt it to your taste. So what do you you got? Over yeah, there? so we got so one of the layers is a, a sour cream mixture. So and what, in that me, mixture, let's just say it's sort of like our you know like when you have a lasagna, you've got like that layer of ricotta cheese yes, or a little bechamel, bechamel something. Yes. This is our like this is our gonna be version of that. <laughs> this, 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 it's so this good. is our ricotta cheese. Our ricotta. <laughs> a ricotta. So we've got about a pound of a pound of sour cream here. Twelve ounces, I think it was. No, it's sixteen ounces. Oh, sixteen ounces. <laughs> Sorry. And then this is like a you know one of those uh, can our tubs. Is, is, this is a. Uh, That's, those are green chilies. These, yeah, green chilies, but how big are, how much That's is that? It's a four and a half ounce Four and a half ounce. Just a yeah. little small. I'm just going to ask you instead of just guessing. That's probably not a bad plan. <laughs> and we're just going to mix these in. We, Chris and I have made this uh, this dish Many several times. times. It's one of our favorites. We, we made it also, we had a, a sponsorship with uh, Tom Thumb, who's our a local grocery store. And we made this and we we had to use one of their ranch style dips oh. as, I as, the going sour, as the sour cream um, and that was kind of delicious and so we were like well we want we want to amp up our flavor of our sour cream so instead of you know getting the, getting a can of ranch style dip <laughs> we're gonna eat what nothing I, was, I can't figure out what you're saying to I'm just saying I'm just I'm, I'm 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 mixing and taking up time. oh I got you now well everyone appreciates that I will say that we we did do it was like a, a ranch and and if you want to get a packet of that ranch seasoning and put it in Throw there it in here it's it get, be careful there's a lot of sodium but it's a it, it's another kind of additional twist yeah. of flavor that you might like right but, but other, we, we sorry we also we just did this for social media so you, it was not on our website or on YouTube so we everybody loved it so we're like let's share it with the world <laughs> okay so we're gonna cook this until it is no longer pink and then I'm gonna drain off all this fat okay so now we've let this cook until like I said till it's no longer pink um, it, it's probably going to render some some grease so what I do is I just get a big old spoon I get a tilt little, it tilt it with a, the help of a little ta kitchen towel and just spoon that out of there you don't need all that grease you can leave a little bit in for flavor but I'd say let's get rid of it for the most part okay all so right now have you ever heard of these these are called this is called Rotel it is like legendary in the state of Texas we used to be able to get it even all the way up so good let me up show in um, New Jersey the, if you if you don't have access to it a lot of brands now have their version of it it's just tomatoes and green chilies I'm trying to add, make sure everybody can see it adds a ton of flavor I grew up on it you make a lot of times you melt Velveeta cheese with it and it is great cheese dip okay and he's Vanna White for us so now we've got so we got a can of that and we're gonna add this is a cup of just this was frozen fire roasted uh, corn that I, any kind of corn that you want to put in there but I love the fire roasted this is a can of 15 ounce can of black beans that I drained loaded with flavor this is this is delicious this is Chris's taco seasoning if you don't this is a, a quarter cup um, you could of course use just the store-bought and you're gonna be perfectly fine um, but I of course had to come up with my own version. yes it's pretty, that's so good it's pretty tasty he also makes um, a hot a taco sauce 
that is oh, like, reminiscent of Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah, <laughs> we did that. We did a we did our own version of a gord, crunchy gordita. Yeah. Didn't we? Anyway, that was a half a cup of stock, and typically I would do beef stock since we've got beef, but I didn't have any beef stock on hand. I thought I did, and so I'm using chicken stock. So oh anyway, no! I know it's crazy, but you could also just even you know you could even use water. Um, that'll work too. And so now look at doesn't that look great? Wow. Isn't that just beautiful? And of course, you know, this is one of those things that's so great. You can adapt it to you totally. and your family's likes. If, if someone in your family hates the beans, then leave them out. Or put some black olives in there. You could. You mm. could put black olives. That'd be a nice addition. So anyway, mm. we're going to cook this until that liquid really kind of cooks down. And then we're going to build a lasagna. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. I just love it. It is delicious. It's, just give me a burrito. I know. I know. It's so <laughs> good. And you can make this well in advance. Um, you can actually make this whole beautiful um, lasagna well in advance. Okay, so now we are going to, basically what we're doing is we are doing this all in thirds. So we're gonna put a third, about, and I sometimes what I do is I just- <laughs> You divide it up I, in I your pan. it a little easier so you don't, you know, sometimes you get excited on that bottom layer and then you go, I don't have anything left. So just kind of eyeball it, just divvy it up in your pan. That's not a very good job of divvying it up, but- Oh, it's a good divvy. It's a good divvy, I think. As far as divvy goes, divvies go, it's not bad. <laughs> you do that, and so we've got our tortillas. We're using flour tortillas because we love them, and when I use a flour tortilla, it reminds me of burritos, and burritos are my favorite thing in the yes. entire world. Yes, you could, a lot of people, when they Besides. do something like this, they do uh, corn tortillas, but I, we, we feel like flour tortillas are just so Yes, good. so I've got three here. I'm gonna leave some that are whole, and you'll see why, but I've got three here that I'm going to just cut in half with my cookie cutter. With the cookie cutter, you can use a knife. Yep. So that's a nice layer of meat that we have there. So I'm gonna put these right up to the edge, isn't that fun? Look at that. Mm. <laughs> oh, there we go. Tuck it in nicely. Here so you just, goes. and you know, if it's not, if there's little you know, areas peeking through where you see the meat <gasps> below, that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Believe me, there's, it's enough, okay. there's enough cheese in this. It's going to fill up the blanks. And these are soft taco size, or are they fajita size? No, those size? are fajita size. Fajita, yeah, fajita size. size are a good size. Okay, okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do another, th we're going to do it of the second third of the meat, we're going to do a third of the cheese and another round of tortillas. There we go. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay, so now this beautiful concoction that Wesley whipped up. <laughs> um, I should say, that's four cups of shredded cheddar. Um, four cups, people. Four cups. We're, 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 I told you we're doing this nice and cheesy. But now we're going to just completely uh, cover this uh, layer with this incredible mixture. Mm. And then we're going to top it with another third of cheese and another round of tortillas. I should be wearing a sombrero. I give it that music. Anyway, okay. So now we are almost done. Um, so we are going to now top the rest of the, the final uh, amount of ham of uh, the meat sauce, and then the rest of the cheese. And then it's yeah. time to bake it. Yeah. I should really quickly say that if you wanted to split this recipe in half, you could because it feeds uh, does feed a small army. It's perfect for like a church. Socials. Oh and, yeah. And potluck. A potluck. Potluck. Oh, Sunday. and the kids just love doing this. It's too. it's really great. Isn't this a? <laughs> isn't it fun? I'm telling you, it's just it's so awesome. It's all just goodness that's gonna go in my belly. <laughs> it really is. Okay, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're gonna stick the, all we're doing is just heating it through so it gets nice and bubbly. It's about 25 minutes. Okay, it's showtime. Oh, I love this. It smells so Oh, good. wow, that is a heap of. Uh, be careful not to drop it, <laughs> it is heavy. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. See Amazing. The tortillas in there. I mean, that's that's impressive. But you know us, we got to make it everything extra beautiful. So we've got some um, <laughs> homemade 
Pico de Gallo here. Of course, you don't have to do this, but you know, it's, it does add a lot of flavor. Oh, do it. And it definitely adds a, a festiveness to the to we like the, to serve this on the side as well like, yes so you can have some extra when you get your own little slice that's right and we we have a recipe <laughs> for homemade pico, pico de guys so easy to make and it but it's really good when it's fresh okay that's gorgeous and then we've got some chopped cilantro cilantro <laughs> cilantro <laughs> um, and then okay. i'm going to come behind him and just throw in some of these Some, wonderful these are pickled jalapenos. Pickled jalapeno. Uh, Look at that, y'all. I mean, is that a fiesta or a of and That's you, wonderful. Bring the and you could cover this with foil and then bring it to your potluck and then I mean, it's just great. And then I it, 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 it. slices. You could leave it um, and let it settle for a minute, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to. I've got this big old spatula. This <laughs> we're, is the way. Love. We're never going to do that. No, we're never. We never do that. So why would we start now? <laughs> yes. Um, so Wesley loves to do the old spatula. Cut oh, I, it's easy with that thing. It is a lot easier. I mean, with something like this, because those tortillas and that that sour cream filling, it just it's it's so mm, beautiful. Now mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is sort of like a pie, and I'm gonna call it the sac sacrifice cut. My sacrifice slice, which is gonna be the first one, because it's never as pretty as the second one. So that one right there in the middle is gonna <laughs> be gonna yours. Be I'm telling you, this is such a kid-friendly dish. Now let's see if we can do this. Don't watch too closely. Oh, Yay, gorgeous. beautiful. That is awesome, Chris. Oh, thank you. All oh, right. that's great. Look at that. Now, let's do mine. Let's do it. Let's All do right. it. Bring it on we over here. A drum roll. There we go. <gasps> oh, fabulous. Beautiful. It's fabulous. Come on over. Fabulous. Oh, my goodness. That looks. Doesn't that look just delicious? I've seen lots of people do these lasagnas and they they don't do like the, the sour cream filling. And you may think it's weird to bake with sour cream, but you know, so many casseroles, you do bake with sour cream. Yeah, and totally. It just, it, it adds a layer <laughs> of creaminess. I love it. It's unbeatable. Wow, that is a. I am going to just break into this lasagna. Oh. Tex Mex lasagna. I tell you, too, they're, um, lasagna. Oh, no, my, yeah, I, was, I just did an Italian accent with my text. Well, you know, it's lasagna. <laughs> Y'all, look at that. Just look. Oh, all right. I'm so excited. Hold on, Chris. Don't do it yet. Is it hot? It's oh, no, it's actually everything. not. I'm losing my mind. All right, <laughs> all right ready? Mmm. <laughs> That's just weeknight wonder, fabulous, delicious, kid friendly. I love it. To me, it tastes like um, like a burrito supreme, <laughs> but in the form of a casserole. Yeah. It's so good. It's it's just amazing. That's a, you definitely need that sour cream. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh y'all, I'm getting messy. I'm putting hot sauce. Oh, I was wondering why my mouth wasn't on fire. <laughs> Serve it with some hot sauce, some jalapenos. Oh, you a guys. A little bit of this. And it reheats beautifully. Mm -hmm. Just cover it with foil and just put it back in the oven for like another 20 minutes till it's bubbly. It's just, it's really great on so many levels. I'm gonna approve this. Okay. Because <laughs> I want to eat it. I know you this do. This is 10,000 percent approved. Yay! Oh, y'all. I just absolutely. I'm telling you, love I'm it. not kidding you. It's gonna become like a family oh, yeah. favorite. Little hot sauce. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. You guys. Make Mexican lasagna, fuse those- Tex-Mex lasagna. Tex-Mex lasagna, whatever you want to call it. Fuse those cuisines together and you're just gonna love it. Your kids are gonna love it. Grandma, so good. Grandma and grandpa are gonna love it. <laughs> and we love you. All Yay. right. Bye everybody. Adios. Adios.